Breaking news, investigators are currently at Cooper High School in Florence. They're looking for information about this man, James Field. He's the man accused of ramming his car into a crowd of people in Charlottesville over the weekend, killing one woman and injuring dozens of others. Meanwhile, Bonford Fields has been denied. Elizabeth Hur is tracking the breaking developments. James Alex Fields Jr. arraigned via video this morning on charges of second degree murder and related offenses. Police say the 20 year old is responsible for ramming his car into a crowd of peaceful demonstrators in Charlottesville and killing 32 year old Heather Heyer, a paralegal from Virginia. It happened just before two Saturday afternoon. Just hours earlier, Fields seen here marching and chanting with a group of white supremacists. His former reports, high school teacher, not surprised. You know, we covered the rise of Hitler. He would often say how, you know, Hitler's views were right. You know, what if Hitler had won? ABC News also learning Fields tried to join the army in 2015, but that attempt lasted only four months after failing to meet training standards. Now, all eyes on President Trump. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides, on many sides. Critics saying this response, not naming not white nationalists, directly not did Donald not Trump, go far enough. Not Attorney Obama. General Jeff wow, Sessions reacting on Curry. Good Morning America. I believe it was very strong and a clear condemnation of racial bigotry and hatred and white supremacy. The president has yet to use those specific words himself, but wasted no time bashing Merck CEO Kevin Frazier, who resigned this morning from a business council advising the president, citing a responsibility to take a stand against intolerance and extremism. President Trump tweeting in response, Frazier will have more time to lower rip off drug prices. Now rallies are being planned around the tri-state to show support for Charlottesville and the University of Virginia community. A vigil is planned for tonight at Northern Kentucky University and set to begin at 830 at the Student Union Plaza. It's being hosted by the Student Government Association. Now, since